Andorra. Doing it. Headed up the lift for track walk. What do you think, Big J? Options. Wait. Looking for options. What are you What are you looking for today? What's the game plan? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I could care less where the lines are. <laughs> <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> I'm just here for I'm the I'm just trying to see what we're working with up here. Points of interest, mm -hmm. some landmarks. Some scenic views. Scenic views. Come down, I'd like to know what the heck you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm here for. Where's the... What do you think? New, uh, new racetrack this year. New racetrack. Excited to see it, that's for sure. Way different from the old one. True that. So far. Wait till you see the view at the top of this track though. Maybe the most scenic start gate location of all my years of racing. How's this view? Pretty sick. This is oh, a pretty good one. Just, just you wait. Yeah, no. Imagine how far the boulders would roll Dude, up this I want hill. To one. Come on. <laughs> Here we are, top of the hill. Start gate location. Everybody's touristing out. What do you think, Chief? Just as good as the first time. <laughs> Spain is there. Actually, we're in Spain. We're in Spain. Oh, we're in Spain. Ready? Yeah. I'm going back to Andorra now. Oh, is this the actual divider mark? Oh yeah, these poles right here. Wow. Ready? Spain. Andorra. <laughs> Spain. Andorra. Spain. Andorra. So these lines, right, or these metal poles are the uh, country lines, apparently. What do we have here? So the Stargate is in Andorra by about 10 feet. And now we're in Spain. Wow. Crazy. All right, here we go. Start gate. Enduro World Cup. Uh, new track. First year we have raced this track. Got the Spanish border about 10 feet right of the start hut. And the track drops down left into that valley out there. It's so peaceful right now. This is very nice. This well, is a very much more peaceful vibe than yeah. Saturday days here. at the same time. I'm gonna be shaking in my head. Turn two, burn up here. A little stunt. Yeet. Oh, you're gonna be cooking into these berms. Every berm you're gonna... Oh, there's a triple down there. Let's go look at that. Into the Supercross triple. Look at this berm. Whew. We're gonna have to turn on the old uh, speedometer on the GoPro this the weekend because we're gonna be down by the maxing okay. out. We got the triple. Mm, yeah, it's kind of a triple. All right, we're about four turns down. Uh, top part of this track is just all super fast, like big old berms and jumps. Pretty cool start to a World Cup track. Don't usually get much of this out of the gate, so pretty sick. Just come in here at like 100 miles an hour, hit the double. Cut her out wide and then just cut in and hit the berm like a lip and just see if you can clear the line on that lift right there. This is a Talladega bull turn right here. This is NASCAR. We're pretty good turn left. Hey, Ricky. Oh, I'm good at left turns. <laughs> what a section. Still cruising. Got another BMX berm and then the takeoff into the sky. I believe I could fly. Yeah. <laughs> what a view. You're gonna go to the moon. Track is straight down. That has gotta be like the, maybe the fastest overall track maybe that we've ever ridden. Hard to say. It never really like turns tight enough to slow down. It just kind of dog legs its way straight down the hill. So you're just gonna be on the brakes, managing your speed all the way down at a very high rate of speed. So, uh, definitely a whole different World Cup track than a lot of the other ones we've raced, so different flavor. Babe still hasn't gotten her bag. The airlines lost it on the way to Switzerland last week. So we are slowly piecing together. She, we found a curling iron today. Track walks over. Cruising around, having a little, had a little coffee, did a little date lunch, and then we're gonna head back up to the hotel in a little bit. So, quite the nice place here. This is a really 
checking our no, program. No, he's stealing bro. it. He's taking it. He's a thief. Uh, World Cup practice day. Numero un. The boys are ready. It's quite the setup this week. We have a pit that Nico saved for us down the hill. And we rode a scooter up the hill, which I really wish I would have filmed. And then we have the bottom of the finish line here. So we're going to kind of pit here because our official pit is like 20 minutes away. <laughs> so we are here getting ready to go up for the first practice run. Excited for the day. I got a new kit here. I'm just doing my best to blend in today. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's get into it. Pump, pump, pump it up. First practice uh, run of the day. Um, I went with the Dunlop MX33. The soft no. terrain tire? No, I got the big knobber on. Yeah, yeah. The, the big the V, v snap. 2.5 monster the big, truck. Big motocross tires on. Um, yeah, super pump. Get out there and get those things in the dirt. Yeah, boy. Weather's perfecto. Get it, girl. Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Alright, practice run. Run one. Let's get it. All done. Hey. It's pretty much straight down. Break less to success. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> A little yoga in the mountains. The happy seal pose. Happy seal? I don't think that's a thing, but... How do you feel? Very good. Got a little bit of the... Uh, pre-qualifying <laughs> nerves going now. Getting ready to head up the hill in about 20 minutes. Do you like the track? Yeah, track's good. It's really fast. It's really fun. A little sketchy because it's so fast and so dry. The times I think are going to be insanely tight. There's not a lot of lines and stuff to separate people, so every little bit is definitely going to count. So you got to push hard. And the dirt's really soft, so you got to make sure you don't push too hard. <laughs> Blow out berms and stuff. So yeah, I felt good in time practice yesterday. I had some really fast splits. Uh, felt pretty good this morning in practice. Just gotta put one down. I feel like I have podium speed this weekend, so it's like I kinda wanna push in my qualifier, get up there and try to score some points. Not much to think about now. I feel like I got my lines and everything down, so I'm just gonna go up there and hopefully have a good one.
Let me see you up there. See you up there. All right, Good brother. Luck, Have fun, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Have fun. Be safe. Make good choices. Thank you. We will. That's not the same talk I'd have, but. See up there, bro. Go fast, take chances. Good talk. It's race day. Heck yeah. Ready to rippage. Got my boys here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Podium in a tent with people smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Finn's conducting an interview. Podium time, baby. In fourth place, from the United States of America, riding for intense factory racing, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Gwynn! Happy to be back on the podium, but I kind of felt like I left a win on the track today, which is always very frustrating. But better to be having rough runs for podiums and good runs for 20th. So um, overall, great weekend. Uh, nice to be back up in the mix and battling and consistent. And uh, I feel like we got more in the tank. So exciting, motivating, all good. Great week in Andorra. Uh, really enjoyed the track changes and everything about this race this year. So all good. Can't wait to go home and uh, race a couple races in the States, get back to West Virginia for home World Cup, and uh, life is good. So, on to the next race. Peace. <laughs> 